guys, Zach Butler here with I Teach Lexus and Peterson Lexus, ready to teach you about the 2015 Lexus NX200T remote touchpad controller. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. This is your remote touchpad right here. In front of the touchpad, you have a menu button and a home switch. Also, an arrow back taking you back a page. Your remote touchpad controller on the 2015NX operates very similarly to how a laptop's uh, operation works for the mouse. Using one finger, you can point and direct yourself where you want to go, and then you can push down to select. You can also swipe and move this way, and you can also swipe forward and swipe back to travel through pages or to scan for stuff. Also have the ability to expand out within your navigation by bringing your fingers out or bringing them in to zoom in when you're within your navigation. Let's take a look at the screen and how this operation works. Okay guys, we're taking a look at your screen, your multi-information screen where navigation pops up, stereo pops up, all of those different things on your NX. Let's start by putting uh, the screen into the menu page. So in front of your remote touchpad, press the menu button. And from the menu, you're gonna see eight icons. Again, learning how to use your remote touchpad, just be very, very slight with it. Treat it much like the mouse on your laptop if you've used one of those before. You can just kind of swipe through. That's what I'm doing right now, just gently with my index finger, a single finger swiping through. And I can stop at any point I want to on any of these icons. We're gonna go into these icons in more detail in later videos, but for now it's just learning how to use your remote touchpad. Now we can go from our menu page to our home page. So hit the button in front of the remote touchpad that says home. From the home, you're gonna get a lot of information. Top left corner, you're gonna see your stereo. When you're at this, you can actually press on your remote touchpad and turn on your sound system and go to the sound system page. Pull up satellite radio, FM, AM, all those different modes. Go back to the home page, so hit the home button, and then you'll come down here and you can see your trip computer. How far you can go on the gas you have, average miles per gallon you're getting, same rule applies. If I select this from my touchpad, I'm gonna to be going to my trip information screen and my trip computer. I can swipe on up here, go back a page, or I can use my back page switch also in front of the remote touchpad. So knowing that you have that arrow back to the right of the menu button, try that out guys, is the best way to know how you can revert back to your menu or go back previous pages. So try that arrow out. Now, if I go to my home again, so in front of the touchpad, hit the home switch, we're back at home again. We see our stereo controls or stereo readout. We also see trip computer and then on to the right we see navigation. Now you can customize what you see to the right. If you see right up here at the top, we can select this, go to it, press down once it's illuminated. Now I can change what my layout is. I can decide what I want information, what information I want to display. Maybe I don't want to see that navigation all the time. So you can select what you want. In this case, we're gonna select nav. So from this nav screen, if I wanted to, I could enlarge it by just right on the screen, just pressing down. And um, I'll show you here some other things. Uh, selecting the home screen that I wanna switch out is what I'm doing right now. So if you notice, we'll come on over here real quick. We'll go back to our main home page now that we've selected it. And now that we're at our home page, we can select from here that navigation screen and enlarge it. From an enlarged navigation screen using that remote touchpad, I want you to try the technique of taking your two fingers and spreading them out, opening them up so that you can zoom in tighter. And then in turn, you can come out further. So much like how you operate an iPad when you're zooming in and zooming out, you can use your thumb and your index finger, your middle finger, whatever is most comfortable. This is a quick way to zoom in and zoom out using your remote touchpad on your NX. So uh, the remote touchpad will take some getting used to. I wanted to give you a quick introduction 
Uh, it is very, very similar to operating a mouse on a laptop. You'll find that using one finger is the way to go, being very, very slight with it, kind of feathering it. Uh, that's, that's a word I like to use. Uh, you know, feather that touchpad because it's gonna really operate easier that way. Always knowing you can go back to that home page as a starting point, seeing your stereo, whatever operations you wanna see, always go back to your menu page and make your selections from there. We'll cover more in depth on the NX multi-information and your remote touchpad in future videos. Hope you're loving your NX. As always, let me know if you have questions or you need anything at all. This is Zach Butler with iTeach Lexus and Peterson Lexus. Have a great day.